Hello family and thank you for coming back to the channel. All right, we just gonna get right on into this. We have another tale out there, another rumor that's salacious and scandalous. Okay, and it's coming off them YouTube streets, all right? YouTube is ablaze once again with some hot news on Portia and Simon from what I'm hearing from them, from another YouTuber. He has put out allegedly that Bravo Entertainment, Real Housewives of Atlanta, honey, they giving Portia a chance to choose her career or Simon. <laughs> Child, when I heard that, I was like, oh, hell to the no, no, no. But one, I can't understand how Portia actually volunteered, meaning she left the Real Housewives of Atlanta so she could, so she could pursue other avenues, which is bringing out her special um, from them. Portia Family Matters. Now, we already know what happened with that. We don't really want to regurgitate it, okay? We don't want to be sick to our stomachs and, you know, just looking at Portia trying to beat up a senior citizen. We, we just don't want to go through that, okay? But it could be said that Bravo is not buying this fake foolishness, fraudulently fuckery of a so-called relationship that her and Simon have called themselves getting into it. I think the writing was on the wall where Simon couldn't show and prove where his assets lie. Simon ain't trying to come out nowhere at no time soon to show the public what he got. Okay, and evidently it ain't a lot. And that's trending today. That's the trending news for today. Portia is ass out and Simon is ready to bout. <laughs> Finna bounce on up out of him, okay? His services are no longer needed anymore. They're no longer wanted, okay? Because allegedly, Bravo told her, baby, choose your career with us and we can try to rebrand you. But right now, the odds are stacked up against you. And by you holding on to a fake storyline saying... You and this man is madly in love with each other. Y'all want to make things happen. No, he's Dirty Simon then and he's Dirty Simon now. And he will be Dirty Simon in the future. Okay, scamming. Trying to get other people to use their money to invest in him. See how that sounds? Ludicrous, crazy, asinine, poor sure. Okay, and you had a problem with him anyway by using his social media trying to talk about your relationship when you first brought this shit out. When you first brought this man out to us saying you were engaged to him and he was your red carpet to the good world. <laughs> I said, he's on down, he's on down the road. Woo, woo, woo. He's on down, he's on down the road. But honey, as you got through that road, you had picked up a lot of heel swirls, didn't you? Taxing your your uh your nails and all that under your feet, girl. Please, please. This man don't know nothing about social media. He not stooped in the um what do you call it there? The reality show industry, and he's not being made a fool of. You are Portia. You are, and somebody probably had a good good enough sense to sit and tell you, baby girl. We don't need that foolishness you're bringing us. Because why? Nothing is going good with that situation. Nothing at all. Only thing you have proven to show is how angry and hostile you are. And yet, your so-called boyfriend, fiance, he's smelling like a rose. He's dull, like a dull knife. And he's not interesting. How can we continue to put him on television when he is not giving us anything, okay? And I mean anything. Why would we need to pay you, Portia? Why would we need, we need to pay you for this mess of a mess? We know you're thirsty. The world know you're thirsty. You're a thirsty bucket, pretty much, all right? But make us, help us help you out with what is your storyline? Because it's not Simon. 
is not getting married because we're not going to invest in that. That's why we didn't tell Portia. Bottom line, so she keep calling them, calling them, calling them. Don't know how to lose their number for a while. You know, and let them call her. They finally returned the phone call and said it's either Simon, the smoker, drinker, cheater, liar, no good, but nothing, asshole, father time. You can choose him or you can choose Bravo. All right, what kind of choice is that? The devil upon the devil? <laughs> to me, it looked like you're going to lose either way, baby girl. Either way. Either way. Just go on to Zeus. So just like one of my um family members on the tube said, uh, you might need to go be a Playboy Bunny. But Hugh Hefner is dead, so I don't know where that situation uh, lies. I mean, do we have the Playboy magazine out there still? <laughs> or you could try to rekindle your relationship with a dentist. And I'm pretty sure that bridge done burnt up, honey. Especially when you tried to put him under the Mexico jailhouse. You and your cousin Storm. <laughs> From what we can recall from what we saw on TV. So, uh, no, Bravo is not buying it. They don't plan on giving you a special. You walked away thinking you had, or you wanted us to believe, you wanted Bravo to believe as well as the world that watched reality shows with you on it. You wanted us to believe that uh, Simon was your all in all. Simon was your uh kuma matata simon was your yin to your yang he was the it factor for you and you was on easy street he's on down the road okay i guess you'll meet um scarecrow tin man and a lion <laughs> in your fantasy land okay baby you are back in kansas well you are not in kansas you're back in atlanta boo all right so just me listening to the other blogger he had said it was something they were trying to rebrand Portia uh with her basically being uh a single mom trying to be the it factor out here trying to be a boss trying to regulate and run her businesses and we supposed to look at Portia do all this shit no we don't want to see that either because <laughs> what she got she got sheets to sell that book she's trying to get rid of for free and her go naked hair that I hear is not all of that we don't want to see Portia do none of that okay I don't know what Portia can do out here in the entertainment world I mean I gave her a suggestion go back to school get your acting coach do some things on television, okay? Or if you can get there, hell, if Cynthia Bailey can land a 15-minute session on Lifetime, I'm sure you could do something, baby. Because they ain't, put, they, this man, he don't want to show nothing. He almost like non-existent. <laughs> I'm like, who did his profile? Who made him the who's who or what? Everything it seemed like he touches, he fails. He fails in marriage. He's not marriage material. He just want to be a bona fide playboy to the rest of his life for the rest of his life on this plane of existence. He don't want to wife you, baby girl. And I'm sure you have come to the realization that he is not the one. Because I don't see y'all doing that much on social media together anymore. So is it plausible? We're going to see in the near future. Y'all going to have this big blowout. You're going to be unfollowing him. The blogger's going to catch that. You're going to bring new life into a new storyline. And thinking we're going to catch up with you and root you out. Nah, honey, we still mad at you trying to uh, fight Mama Gina. Okay? And how you talk to Mama Gina. But you didn't want Mama Gina to talk a certain way to your grandmama on your mother's side. Your mother's mother. You, you, you didn't want none of that to happen. So, see, no, I don't know how you can come back. Because, see, God ain't in no mess. He ain't in no type of reality mess. All right? Because you even took your uh, holier-than-thou relationship with the Lord and tainted that. You see what I'm saying? You went from, um, what do you call it, uh, Ruth in the Bible to Jezebel. <laughs> I'm like, who does that and why? Okay, who does that and why? And that's what everybody's trying to figure out. 
And if Bravo's sitting to wait, waiting to think you're going to change, hell, you weren't even married with Dennis when you were kicking folks' asses. You weren't even in a relationship with Dennis. And you were pulling Kenya more to the floor. You were uh, beating up on and leaving marks on Jamie. You had blacked her eye and just made everything, you know, just swell on her. This was before you got with Dennis. So, I mean, what they need to let you go to the wrestling, the World Wrestling Federation and give you a contract over there where you can just be bouncing around in a ring trying to uh, tag somebody and, and roll them over and win the match. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shoot, girl. I, I'm telling you, go to Zeus Network. They would definitely find you something to do. But... I'm just waiting and see, waiting and trying to see when you're going to pull the plug on this blending family. Ain't no blending going there. That's them kids that Simon had, okay, from three different wives, well, two different wives, and he ain't got it straight yet. And you sitting over there buying him, uh, what do you call it? This itch got me paying a rent, paying for trips. Buy diamonds on the neck, diamonds on the wrist. <laughs> now you got your own self smoking out the window. <laughs> Girl, Simon got you smoking out the window trying to think which way can you go. Because Simon belongs to everybody. Everybody. And how it goes, you belong to everybody too from what the street's saying. You ain't faithful and you can't be with one man either. Okay, child, y'all both are a hot mess, and both of y'all need to be counseled. You need to go to school, get your education behind you, and run some uh, uh somebody else's company or something. Okay, but we know you ain't gonna do it. We know you ain't gonna do it. You still want to be a part of this ratchet reality show fiasco of a career choice instead of doing the work, Portia. Do the work. Go out there, find you an acting coach. You may still got a little money or whatnot. And see if your agent, or maybe you need to get another agent and see if they can book you on soap opera shows, okay? Because you can fight on soap opera shows. You just can't really get too rough with them. But we all know that's fake. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to make up no more storylines for us to uh, ponder about or get with you on. Because we don't want to see you. Okay, you got to stop letting these people try to turn you into something that you don't want to do. If they don't want the type of work you're trying to bring them to be on the show, then fuck it. Leave them. Okay, you did. That's why I understand how they going to fire you when you had already voluntarily left the show and this nation. I mean, were both of them pretty much trying to get rid of you, like wean you out because you were making pretty good money too. But no, they thought you were going to be their gold mine, that this Porsche Family Matters was going to, you know, strike gold and all that kind of stuff and be wholesome to a certain degree or palatable, I should say, uh, for our mind and, and our mouths, okay? No, we couldn't eat none of that shit you and Simon were trying to throw us because guess what? He didn't open up his life. Okay, he did not he talk about his ex-wives, what he had went through, and showing how he interact with each one of his kids. It was like no holes barred. That my whole life, Simon was telling y'all, y'all not gonna film, y'all not gonna talk to my ex-wives. We're not gonna have any type of interaction. We're not gonna show me going to pick up my kids. We're not doing it. <laughs> so I'm like, everything that you tried to show us about Simon, you know, the little jets he was having, the other uh, little place y'all supposed to have in Costa Rica and all this stuff. See, Fallon has a tell-all book that's coming out that's going to probably squash you and everything that you built to build around Simon for your billionaire husband. She's probably going to drop the true tea and probably... Is waiting for that because they know it's going to be hellacious for them. Hence, meaning they can't save your career. All right. And we really have to think, do you really need to? Because it seems like this reality stuff just hypes you up and take you to a bad spot. A, a bad place in your life because you want to get them hands going and you cannot do that and if Di dirty simon can try to stay clean but he having you all nasty and filthy out there taking all the hits and he ain't getting no hits on him 
you need to leave him okay you need to just give up this farce of a storyline that you and him are madly in love and y'all gonna get married and have three weddings and this that and the third i'm like girl give it a rest give the ghost up let it go and exhale and inhale something new all right because don't nobody like simon not really you know, he don't give us nothing even when he had a chance to shine on y'all's show or, you know, the comments and goings on how y'all were going to blend families and this, that, and the third. No. And then he was shady when he was in his profet- um, his confessionals. Then he really talking about, fuck social media and all this kind of stuff. But, yeah, he posted. He, he, in that post, he fighting with us bloggers and talking about Fallon husband, a soon to be husband, uh, and her trying to throw her on the bus as, bus as well. That they ain't no good, and we don't know what we're talking about. And this, then the third, see, ain't no billionaire gonna be playing on his social media like that. Hell, he gonna probably have one, he's gonna probably have an assistant to uh type in what he feels he wants to say, okay? But it just is what it is. I just had to come, I'm like, girl. First, Simon give you an ultimatum that if you don't stay on this reality show, he going to leave you allegedly. Now, another story is out through those YouTube streets. Not claiming that it's, it's, it's true now. All of this allegedly. They telling you, you either choose them or Simon. What the hell is going on with your life, Portia? It seems like you don't have any control. And the scenarios and the uh, plots are just thickening around you. And you don't know which one to choose because you're thirsty, Portia. You're a thirst bucket. You didn't think things through. You didn't think to think, what would social media think about this? Can we pull it off? What are you willing to give up to show, Simon, your life and what I'm going to show? You know, she didn't really, like, put the pieces together and really dialogue with simon to see what he was willing to do nope she just said okay man for hire we're gonna play this role we're gonna make this money and we're gonna be gucci <laughs> the only person that looked like they gucci is Fallon because she got the hell on from simon and moved uh in with somebody her age that she can definitely relate to and move on into the sunset but Portia has to decide now, allegedly, whether she's going to keep up this farce of a relationship. And hopefully her dud will turn into a, what he was saying he was, which was a millionaire, billionaire, however you want to say it, okay? Because he know he loves showcasing them two cars. I'm thinking this man had a fleet of cars, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> In his garage, like at least seven or eight, you know what I'm saying? Of different models, different age um well models would be age and different type of makeup of the car you know what i'm saying Chopley, he got two and one of them out now <laughs> getting some air and the other one's still up on the little traction thing he had hold on like who does that who what man does that type of foolishness okay like, he loved his material wealth and he loved human beings, child. I like, girl, either way, you batting zero. If you stay with Bravo, yeah, you might get that six, seven figure check. If they can approve you from the other girls, because they don't want your bad portion. The, the newbies don't want your bad, and the OGs don't want your bad. They don't miss you. Can't I already done told you and Cynthia that no, the show is doing actually much better. They're making progress, they're selling. With you two on the show, y'all are treading water. So, see, the waters are not really good over there. All right? And then, if you did come back, they're going to probably want you to talk about your storyline with the, the mess that you created with Simon and your show. Are you really wanting to get tied up into that? And we start in public opinion in the media world. We start formulating things that's not going to look right for you. Child, please. They want you to try to be a force to be reckoned with single again. And you trying to be a powerful businesswoman? <laughs> we can't even believe that one. Because, damn, you said you wrote an autobiography. It was on the bestseller list. Quiet as a kept. It's full of shit. It's a, a bunch of crock. And you giving it away for free. Why are they trying to buy your go naked hair? So, what did that tell you, girl? But, anyway. 
I thought I'll just jump on that one before I go to sleep. Y'all tell me. Sitting up there drunk as hell, falling on the floor, and he drunk too. And that's a perfect match. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> that's a that's a perfect disaster is what we looking at. Okay. So either way you go, Porsche, it's gonna be a bad thing for you because reality shows they only if they can't use you up anymore they ready to throw you away perfect example look at nene look at nene oh god look at nene and look how they tore up with sheree brought her back brought it got rid of her brought her back got rid of the only true person they didn't really fuck with and i don't know if it's because she was privileged is kim zoziak and then she had seven or eight seasons on her show that they Bravo gave her. Okay. So child. Get it together or leave it alone honey. I don't know what you can do. Because to me you don't need to save this. Reality. Uh, what do you call it. Real- you don't need to be a part of any more reality shows. Unless they're showing you in a positive light. Because see Bravo just making a fool. Out of half of you black women over there. They're just trying to bring you down. They ain't paying you correctly, and they want you to be ratchet. They want to be want you to be opposite of what you say you are. And if you're gonna sit there and sell your soul like that, and act a fool, a clown, and coon for the cameras, then okay, go ahead, do it, do it. They want you back, but I'm pretty sure you ain't coming back with the money that you originally left with. I can promise you that much, cause they trying to put everybody on a diet. No more seven, eight. Nine figure salaries, honey. Uh uh-uh. uh. And then they might get you on how many episodes they want to see you feature in. So, yeah, honey, when you bit off too much more than you could chew and digest, they knew they had you. So, they're going to play with you, girl. They're going to toy with you. And they're not going to give you the money that you expect. So, hey, do you, boo? Do you? But I just had to come here, get down in those comments. Let me. Let, let me know what you're thinking about this situation. Bravo allegedly giving her a choice. One, to rebrand her career. Okay, and see what they can do to salvage the mess. Or get rid of Simon. Either or. Either or. <laughs> she has to choose. And which one y'all think she's going to choose? The career? Or she's going to choose Simon? The one she says she's in love with. And she can't see nobody else in her life but him. And want to start a family. And this, that, and the third. That's so much bullshit. It's so much bullshit. And will you keep the car if you choose your career over Simon? That's what we want to know, Portia. Will you keep the car, the ring, and any other tangible? Uh, objects that you can get let us know let us know girl but that blended family mess no it blew up in smoke and, and evaporated baby okay just like cast with a friendly ghost <laughs> but i'll see y'all next time y'all be breezy good night